Our person of the week, a powerful newsman who just wants to make sure all of us have a great Thanksgiving. He's even written a book about it. He is famously droll and funny, and he loves that family day. That Norman Rockwell painting, which is called Freedom from Want, and here is kindly grandma with this giant burnished bird and grandpa behind her and the spit shine kids around the table waiting for this holiday. All of us in some measure uh, are looking to recreate some part of that. Sam Sifton, national editor of the New York Times, once the Times food critic, who knows that Thanksgiving is about anticipation, along with anxiety and stress. Do I have enough plates? Do I have enough glasses? Am I really going to have a tablecloth? What is a tablecloth? Can I use a sheet? That's cheap. Maybe I should, well, maybe it's good. What do I do about Uncle Morty, who's an alcoholic? He's got to be there, but he gets drunk. And I thought it might be helpful just to say, everything's going to be OK. It's, it's a pretty simple meal when you, when you really think about it. You're, you're roasting a giant chicken. You're mashing some potatoes. You're mashing almost everything. It's basically piles of mush on a plate with slices of big chicken. Sifton says he learned to take out the stress by following just a few absolute rules. You must not uh, serve appetizers. The scent of the turkey is enough to stir your hunger. And I certainly am not going to spend all day roasting a turkey so that you can come into my home and eat two pounds of nuts and then refuse seconds. That's just rude. You must not serve a salad. This is not a place for health. This is Thanksgiving. So let us speak plainly about butter. There's going to be a lot of butter. I think it is not incorrect to lay in at least two pounds of butter for the day. You need to have pie at the end. There's no place for chocolate at Thanksgiving. Chocolate is good for depressing nights, for unfortunate birthdays, things of this nature. It's not for Thanksgiving. And by the way, he says no one ever judged you because you bought your cranberry sauce. But most of all, Sifton says, set your table as a kind of sacrament. Whether it's a sheet, a tablecloth, add some candles, whatever makes it an occasion at your house. This changes the behavior of the people who gather at the table. Children are better behaved by dint of this kind of special thing before them. And if you can take that moment at the beginning of the meal to, to say a grace, to look everyone at the table in the eye and say, I, I want to say thanks. I want to give thanks for your presence. That's the purpose of the whole thing, right? It's the one holiday that all Americans really, really gather together to celebrate. More than the 4th of July, I would argue. More than Christmas. And so we choose Sam Sifton and his happy survival kit of a book. More of his wise advice at abcnews.com. But for a moment, I want to go back to that famous Norman Rockwell painting. Did you know the woman right there in front is Rockwell's wife, Mary? And that is his mother with the white hair. He painted them 70 years ago. And all of the people around that table have now left us, but left us with a reminder to give thanks when our modern American families gather at our tables next week.